had to change my sweater because I've been filming a lot in this room. It's getting so stuffy and I stepped out for a second and I came back in. Oh my God, it was so like, it's starting to scratch my throat. The amount of perfumes I have sprayed in here so far. So I've opened my window. I needed a warmer sweater. We're gonna keep filming. Guys, I have to wear my hair like this now because I have to keep it out of reach of my baby. And this is like my new thing. I don't know if you guys are digging the braid or not. I'm kind of digging it. I actually think it looks pretty good. The annoying thing is that these bangs keep falling out. I like how they look when they look good, but pff, I think I'm done. So they keep falling out. So it's gonna keep changing throughout the video. It's driving me nuts. Ugh. But the other thing that I started doing was I started getting headbands. So like I grabbed a few on Amazon. Let me show you. I will not be putting it on now, but do you think headbands are lame or no? Like, do you think that's like old school vintage cute? Like I'll put my hair on a daily in like a bun or a ponytail and I'll just have the headband and I think it's cute. I've been digging it. I was like, headbands are back in. And my man's like, I don't think so. And I'm like, sure they are. I don't know if they're back in. I just told him that they are. Just one of the lies I tell on a daily basis. I think they look cute. Tell me, confirm or deny, I need to know. Because that's the only way I can manage, and like I hate hair in my face, so I don't know what I was thinking with even getting curtain bangs, but that's a whole separate story. Today I'm sharing with you guys some of my favorite gourmands for winter, even though I'm not a gourmand lover, but there are a few that I do truly enjoy, and I am gonna get a little bit ranty. I've been in like more of a sharing ranty mood lately. There's just, just things are bugging me and I want to talk to you guys like you guys are my buddies so I'm gonna share some things that do bug me one of which has to do with a fragrance subscription service called Scentbird which I am like super annoyed with I don't know if I should do that in the beginning or the end or in the middle we'll see how the video flows okay first one Burberry Her Elixir. This is not like a typical gourmand. Like when I think personally, when I think gourmand, I think things that are like more uh, heavy dessert, like, I don't know why, like cupcakes come, come to mind. And honestly, a lot of the times, the reason why I'm not a fan of gourmand fragrances is because a lot of cheap perfumes make gourmands. I think because it's easy to make them likable to a mass appealing group. Like most people like sweet things. Most people enjoy dessert. But there are a lot of gourmands that are really outstanding and smell elegant and unique and like expensive. And so the ones that I'm covering today are, you know, those. This is not like a typical like cupcakey whatever kind of smell. This is actually a really beautiful strawberry, a creamy strawberry. I compared this one to like a strawberries and cream chupa chups lollipop when I compared this one to the other Burberry Her Flankers. I'll link that video up here for you guys. This is at the moment my favorite. Well, I guess the intense has been discontinued uh unfortunately i do really love that one but i do prefer this one from the current range of all of the burberry hers i prefer it over the edp this one is just creamier it has a nice elegant woody base and it's really all about the strawberry and it is delectable it's absolutely delectable i really can't say enough good things about this one performance is great as well it is on the pricey side Fragrance Buy has it at the moment. I checked, I think it was like 130 Canadian for a 50 mil, which makes it more affordable. But anyway, I would shop during sales. Another one that I am so surprised that I love is from a brand called Maison Maisa. I don't think you guys have heard me talk much about this brand except for one of my recent videos. And this was sent to me by um, The Fifth Scent, which is a boutique. They carry this. It is beautiful. It is not a scent that I thought I would enjoy. It is a powdery, chocolate orange type of scent, a little bit of like caramel vibes in here. This makes me think of Christmas and those chocolate oranges, but powdery, elegant, feminine, a beautiful balanced gourmand, not too sweet. I really, really, really love this. And I don't think I even said the name. It's Destin des Anges. It's a, it's a lovely, lovely fragrance. So yeah, gourmand lovers, even if you don't like chocolate, like I'm not a chocolate fan in fragrance. So I do like to challenge myself when it comes to that and see if I can find one that I do enjoy. There are a couple that I enjoy. This is one of them. It is a super, super windy day out right now, but I need to air out the room. So you're gonna hear maybe wind in the background, various noises, 
sorry. Oh, and uh, I do have a code for this one. You guys save 15% with my code Descented15 on the fifth cent. I will link that all in the description for you. Then Cacao Porcelana, another scent with chocolate that I adore. This is kind of nutty, woody, boozy, very unisex, very sexy on men as well. And a few of you guys have tried this one through me and really love this. So I'm, I'm glad to hear that the hype is catching on because this is a really, really outstanding one from Atelier Materi. Not a lot that I love from this brand truly, but this is one that really, really stands out. And um, the whole brand's concept is like raw materials. Their packaging is really unique. The only other one that I really think is unique and love is Narcisse Taiji, but I find them all quite masculine leaning. This one is the most feminine to my nose and the most unique and really strong performer. Okay, let's alternate. Again, another designer. I've always loved this scent. I love the whole La Petite Robe Noir series. This is La Petite Robe Noir Intense. Cotton candy, blueberry, very kind of similar backbone in the DNA that is reminiscent of the La Petite Robe Noir lineup, but you get a really fluffy cotton candy and blueberry. It's so nice. This is the perfect party scent. This is yummy, this is sexy, this is fun, and still expensive smelling. So yeah, I can't say enough good things about this. This has been a long time love for me. Those of you guys have been with me for a while, you'll know I've been talking about this almost since day one. Another new one to my collection, this is from Fueguia 1833, an Argentinian brand. My greatest apologies for the mistake that I made when I introduced this fragrance the first time Oh my goodness, you guys are obviously very passionate about this and you crucified me and that's okay. I made a mistake and I said, it's Italian. Why? Because my dumb dumb butt thought that, oh, Fuguia sounds Italian. I guess it's Italian. Didn't Google it. Hello, my bad, my horrible mistake. It is an Argentinian brand. Beautiful smelling fragrance called La Cautiva. It is creamy black currant like true true black currant this brand uses naturals they're all very very natural smelling you get a real kind of aromatic almost herbaceous black currant all of the black currant in the beginning the leaf the berry like everything about a black currant you get that and vanilla and it does dry down to like the berry black currant and very creamy beautiful vanilla the name and the fragrance itself, they don't, um, they don't connect for me. Like in translation, I believe it is the captive and the story behind it, like I read it anyway, it didn't connect to the scent for me, but uh, beautiful, beautiful scent, like really creamy, lovely black currant and vanilla, long lasting as well. The packaging is out of this world. I will link the video. Um, either up here or in the description where I showed the packaging. It is the most elaborate, outstanding packaging I've ever seen in my life. It comes with like a little map. It's like you found a hidden treasure. Beautiful. Can't say enough good things. Amazing niche fragrance. Another black currant, uh, Armani C Intense. I think if you love one, you'll love the other. This one's a little bit sharper. Like it's not as creamy, obviously. This has black currant syrup. It's almost like a powdery black currant syrup liqueur. Like it, you smell a little bit of black currant and makeup powder essence as well. It does remind me of cozying up and drinking like a, maybe like a mulled wine or something by the fire in a Christmas market. It's very, very, very cozy. I wore this one a lot as well during the transitional period from fall to winter. I'm gonna wear it a lot in the winter. Black currant lovers, I'm one of them. Black currant lovers need this. Another niche is from Une Nuit Nomade. This is my one of my new favorite brands. This is Jardin de Misfa, and it's a date fragrance, like dates, like candy dates. Saffron, oh, delectable, probably the sweetest of the bunch. Mouth-watering, almost like honeyed, like dripping liquid honey kind of scent. Dates have a honey-esque quality to me, so that's what it smells like. There's rose, very subtle, gentle rose. It's not a rose-centric fragrance. Really, it's about almond, dates, saffron. That's it. That's really, really what it's about. 
super sexy, very cozy, like very soft smelling. I adore this one. I do have a promo code for Une Nuit Nomade. I will be linking everything in the description for you. This one is a discontinued fragrance. This is Armani Code Ultimate for women. And you can still find this one on Perfume Online. Coffee, ginger, Armani Code DNA. Mouthwatering, sexy, one of the best coffee-centric fragrances that I smelled. I love that fresh ginger kick in the opening. You get the sexiness of the standard Armani Code DNA and like a strong, fresh brewed, slightly sweet coffee, not like black opium at all. Like I smell so much of that Armani Code DNA, which Armani Code is one of my favorite designer fragrances. I think it is very, very good. This Armani Code and coffee, like need I say more? And finally, we have Girl of Now Shine. This one I personally don't wear much, but I do like it on other people. That's why it's last. I've smelled the cloud when people have walked by with this and it smells lovely. On me, I do find it too sweet. There's a pistachio almond scent. The pineapple does come through, it's quite candied. This is the most gourmand, the most sweet of all of the ones that I've mentioned. The least for me, but because I like how it smells on others, I do want to share it with you guys. So yeah, and now let me vent to you about my frustration with Scentbird. Why I'm so frustrated? Let's backtrack. They keep reaching out to me for a sponsored video. And first of all, like they're asking the world, I don't know what their budget is. I haven't even discussed with them. I just ignore, ignore, ignore. I think I've told a couple um, people that I'm like not interested in partnering with them. I look, I'm like, okay, let's, let's explore. Let's learn about them. I like to do a lot of research when anybody reaches out to me for a sponsorship. I look on their website and I'm like, okay, so first you get to choose from their best sellers let's have a look at their best sellers i'm sorry but i have never heard of half of these like you're really telling me that confessions of a rebel is one of your best sellers i i don't know that fragrance aqualina pink sugar guys for 16.95 you're getting an 8 mil of aqualina pink sugar Go on Fragrance Buy and you can get 100 mil for actually cheaper because 16.95 is US. 16 whatever Canadian you can get on Fragrance Buy a whole bottle. Like This is for people who don't know. That's the thing, this is for people who don't know. They don't know what they like. They don't know the value of perfumes. They're like, okay, send me the monthly subscription. Let's see how I like it. But you actually can do just a tiny bit of research and just buy your own decants. It'll work out to a better value. Anyway, let's keep going. Michel Germain Sugarful. Really, really. That's one of your best sellers. Surprise, surprise, it's like the cheapest one. Prada Candy, Dolce Gabbana Light Blue. These fragrances can be found for like maybe three times what the sample costs for a full bottle. Like to me, it makes no sense. And you can upgrade to their full list of like with niche fragrances and stuff. As far as I understand, correct me if I'm wrong, but you can like upgrade later, but then you have to pay an add-on. So I saw some, they're like plus 10 and then you can get something. Okay, so now you're paying US 26, $27. What is that Canadian? Like 40, 40 bucks or something um, for an eight mil. That's a lot. Like that's a lot. And yeah, they're like little decant sprayers or fancy and nice. Anyway, yeah, so all of these that I'm looking at, I'm like, mm -mm. I'm like, there is no way these are your best sellers. DKNY, Be Delicious. What is this? Catherine Malandrino. I've never heard of it. Okay, I expect to see Versace um, Crystal Noir. I expect to see Viva La Juicy. Like those well known designer fragrances. So anyway, Scentbird, yeah, I'm like not on board and. Uh, I'm not saying this again because I sell decants. There are a lot of great decant sites out there. Like the Perfume Court is one of my favorites, Scent Split, um, Decant X, fragrance samples and decants, like endless, endless. You can Google them. You can buy from anybody. You can buy from me. You can buy from anybody. But Scentbird specifically just pissed me right off. That's just me. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the all the things I had to offer today. Subscribe hit the bell, stay with me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.